Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. He makes his living working to protect and preserve creatures that protect us from pests. It's time for this week's STEAM Profile. Our focus today is science as we meet a reptile biologist. A skink named Sweetums. So cute. A pair of wide-eyed newts, both part of the world-class collection at LA's Natural History Museum. Every day is better for me if I get to see a lizard. Meet Dr. Greg Pauly. I'm the curator of herpetology. Come here, sweetie. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. So that includes salamanders, frogs, lizards, turtles, snakes. Dr. Polly says even the reptiles we fear the most do a lot of good. They eat lots of things that we consider pests. In the museum's nature lab, guests are encouraged to visit with live reptiles of all species and learn all about their habitats. What the public doesn't get to see is this. The skull of an American alligator. The museum's world-class herpetology library. Dr. Polly, this is a huge collection. Yeah, we have just over 195,000 specimens in this room. Of all the STEAM disciplines, herpetologists rely most on science. A lot of my time is spent thinking about how do we make sure the specimens are available and useful to researchers decades from now and even centuries from now. One way scientists are making new discoveries? By recruiting volunteers to upload photos of creatures they find in their yard. That's how these geckos were first discovered in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah, I was a nine-year-old boy living at Chatsworth at the time. And whether you're a young citizen scientist with a camera or a professional with a title. The absolute best part about being a scientist is making discoveries. Oh, so cool. So if you see a lizard, snake, or frog in your neighborhood, you can join Dr. Polly's team of citizen scientists by uploading a photo for review by professional herpetologists. We have a link with instructions and more on STEAM careers at cbsla.com slash STEAM. Oh.